sure somebody will beat me to this, but I figured I'd go in-depth about some of the things we'll be able to use in Modern Warfare 2. First, we'll take a look at the streaks. There'll be 19 streaks just in the beta, and there's some fascinating stuff to go over here. First, I'd like to take a look at the cruise missile. In Modern Warfare 2019, the complaint I heard about the cruise missile was that it took too long to deploy. But in Modern Warfare 2, it seems much more seamless. You whip out an iPad Pro just like in the last game, but this time you use a Nintendo DS stylus to call it in. It looks like our operators have been spending some time at Best Buy. Jokes aside, the animation for the cruise missile is much faster. The speed makes the gameplay much smoother, so you won't be taken out of the battlefield for too long while using it. Aside from the quickness, there's another thing I'd like to mention. I want to talk about the anti-vehicle capabilities of the cruise missile. In Modern Warfare 2019, you could steer the cruise missile back into the sky and use it in streaks, even like the gunship in the advanced UAV. In Black Ops Cold War, I don't think you could do this, although it did spawn pretty high in the sky, and Vanguard's glide bomb was able to take down airplanes. So I'm sure the cruise missile in Modern Warfare 2 will be capable of anti-vehicle action, but I have yet to see the extent. In Modern Warfare 2, Ground War will return with new features like swimming and pilotable helicopters similar to combined arms in Black Ops Cold War. Combined arms, my beloved. But something interesting of note in Black Ops Cold War is that you could put a trophy system on the Hind. From what I recall, the Hind didn't have flares in Cold War, but the Little Bird in Modern Warfare and Warzone did have countermeasures. So maybe you'll be able to do both here in Modern Warfare 2, but this game is running on a different engine than Cold War, so we'll have to wait and see. Aside from those aircraft, we'll have amphibious vehicles too. This stuff also reminds me of combined arms in Cold War, as we'll have vehicles similar to the Wake Runner and the gunboat. But what's interesting is it looks like the Wilson will have amphibious capabilities too, as its name is different. It's now called the Wilson HS, and its description states that it's a remote-controlled amphibious vehicle with auto-sentry capabilities. So not only does it seem like the Wilson will be able to float, but it'll have sentry capabilities. In Black Ops Cold War, a feature I liked but didn't know about for a long time was that if you leave the gunship, it'll still fly overhead and be piloted by an AI. I think that's pretty cool, as not only would you still sort of have a gunship if you accidentally left it, but you can run around with cover from above and keep your gameplay going. I can't remember if the gunship in Modern Warfare 2019 worked this way, but I know that if you leave Vanguard's ball turret gunner, it'll simply fly off, so maybe you can let the wheels in Rome while you're still in control of your operator. I think that'd be pretty cool. Also, mentioning the gunship, in the multiplayer reveal, Farah is shown firing a rocket from a Joker at a gunship. But what's interesting is this animation shown. If we actually get something like this in multiplayer, that'd be crazy. It kind of reminds me of the animation you see when getting shot down in a VTOL in Cold War. But as cool as this is, this is probably just from the campaign, as we will be seeing the AC-130 there. Aside from the Wilson, the sentry gun is said to have incendiary rounds. Incendiary rounds in Vanguard and Warzone caused a lot of complaints, and I doubt that it'll receive as much backlash as that, but it's worth mentioning. The SAE is coming to the game, and it's very reminiscent of Cold War's artillery, as it's simply painting three targets on the map and letting bombs drop. But we still don't know much about them. It'll be interesting to see if you can counter this as the bombs are dropped by a trio of jets, so maybe you'll be able to shoot them down. Another thing we haven't seen yet is if you'll be able to store unused strikes like you could with the artillery in Cold War. Another interesting thing is the bomb drone. What's curious about this is if you go to the 19 second mark in the multiplayer reveal trailer, you can see a drone with a bunch of sparks coming out of it. This could be several things. It could be the aforementioned bomb drone, but it could also be the new smoke airdrop field upgrade, which deploys a wall of smoke at a given location. But if this is the bomb drone, maybe it doesn't blow up when the C4 is detonated. Maybe it just drops it and flies off. Only time will tell. Another thing I'd like to bring up is the stealth bomber. It's very reminiscent of the real life B2 spirit, but it's seemingly altered probably to avoid copyright. Sorry, but Ace Combat gets all that licensed fun. It'll be interesting to see if you can take this plane down, alongside the many other aircraft. Something else I'd like to mention is the description of the trophy system. It says that larger targets may take multiple shots. I assume this means that if the trophy has a limited number of intercepts, let's say four, it'll take two to take down a rocket, but one for a regular grenade. What's interesting about this is that I talked about something similar happening in Vanguard, as you're surprisingly able to survive a glide bomb with the trophy, but it's hard to tell whether the trophy destroyed it or if it just took the brunt of the blast, so maybe there's some correlation. Another unique field upgrade coming is the tactical camera. This reminds me of that one mission in Modern Warfare 2019 where you escort that lady through the building with those security cameras. I wonder if this was a scrapped idea from the last Modern War. Anyway, it's described as by pressing both bumpers again after the Deploying it, you can connect to it. In multiplayer trailers, they rarely show the UI for the game as it makes it look way more cinematic, but what we do see is this black and white view of the area where it was placed. I wonder if you'll be able to tag people like the recon drone could in Warzone, or if it's just a personal thing. However, it is stated that if the camera is left alone, it'll alert nearby players with the noise. So maybe this is more of a field mic kind of thing. Overall, that's all I think I have to say for now. I'm very excited to see more of Modern Warfare 2, and I can't wait to see some of the crazy stuff that'll happen with the equipment. Also, PS. Thank you Infinity Ward for putting the UAV and CUAV in different streak slots, I really appreciate that. Thank you all for watching the video, and I hope to see you all when the game's fully released to test some of these things out. Peace. Also, the Juggernaut has all Katala working on it for some reason. Okay, bye.
Oh, it's one shot. It's one shot. Trust me, it's one shot.